Hello everyone and welcome to Paper and Moose and welcome to Mail Day. Today's Mail Day is brought to you by our friend Philip in Baltimore, Maryland. Philip has sent me several large packages, so I'm going to be opening them I'm probably within the next few mail videos, sprinkled in some other mail videos because they're rather large, like this one. <laughs> now this one says Tupperware. Did you send me Tupperware? Because we know I like that sound of that when the lid closes on that pitcher. It's like a sound from childhood, that pop. Or is it some other kind of treasure? Well, we're going to find out. So yes, another mail day here at Paper and Moose. So many things uh, come to me through the mail and I cannot thank all of you for all of the kindness that you have shown me through the items sent in the mail. I say that every mail video because it is the truth. So yes, um, I believe Philip has sent like four or five packages. So we are going to start today with this one because this, this intrigued me. <laughs> What is in here? I don't know. And I don't know if there's a certain order I should be opening these. So if there is, forgive me. We're just gonna dive right in. Okay, it's not Tupperware. <laughs> Unless he packed uh, the Tupperware in clothing. <laughs> uh, I do love that sound of that Tupperware though. I just get, you know, can't, I mean, people still love Tupperware. They still collect it. They still use it. I know my family does. Hello Renee, I went to an estate sale and they had things I thought you might like. I overbought so more boxes were follow. As always, keep up, keep it, sell or donate. Keep up the awesome videos, Philip. Well, thank you, Philip. I do love a good estate sale. So let's see. What should I open first? I don't know. Let's go with this guy. Ooh. Oh, look at this. It's like, it almost looks like flapperish style on the bottom with that extra layer. It is very flapperish. It has shoulder pads <laughs> and it's by Christy Petites. I do like that pattern. Blue, very festive. This is, it, it really does remind me of a flapper, flapper-esque mm -hmm. style dress. What is this guy? Ooh, another a nice black dress. This is really nice. It looks like maybe it was a home project from the seams, but I will be in style. You can always use a nice black dress. Pair that with some vintage chunky pearls, fake pearls. I don't think I own real pearls. And another, oh, this is definitely older. Looks like another like straight, are they called straight line? <laughs> Straight line, A line frame? I don't know. Pairs with a nice sweater. I'll be set with all my fancy clothes. Let's just keep working on the clothes we have. This is cute. It's a Bobby Brooks woman. That sounds like a, a good name. I have heard of that. Very nice for the springtime. We'll get to that package in a little bit. This cutie. Again, more shoulder pads. When you see shoulder pads, it gives you kind of an idea of what era the clothing is from. I don't know if they use shoulder pads today though. That's a really pretty color. We have some reds. Judy Bond, ooh, oh. This kind of reminds me of like an artist smock. It has that great style to it. You could pair this with the black dress or the blue dress. That, I do like this. This would be good with, I think, a bandana, too. Oh my gosh, there's some that have the original tag. We have this turtleneck, zip-up turtleneck sweater in a great red color. This one so has the original tag, Elle's Bells. Shirts that are tops. Is there a difference? <laughs> Shirts that are tops. Another great vintage piece. Again, put this with a sweater. Wear your hair up, maybe a bandana like this, and you'll be looking like you just stepped out from, not in 2003. <laughs> There's this box, that's heavy. Let's wait till last to, oh my gosh, open it. There's another great green sweater. This is Blair. 
Ooh, I like this. It has that like, um, I shouldn't really describe clothes. <laughs> I would say cinched at the bottom, but this will look nice with some black leggings or for Christmas, if you want to be really festive, you can wear red leggings. <laughs> I think I stick with black leggings. That would look cute. What is this one? This is fancy. Lovely little print. Great for spring. I know there's some rules on when you can wear white, I think. I've never followed those rules though. <laughs> we even have shoes in here. Oh my goodness. All right, look at this shoe box. The shoe place is from Sears. Oh wow, look at these. Those are really nice. Red cross shoes it says. These are in great shape for vintage older shoes. Still lots of life left in them. Heels in good shape. This product had no connection whatever. Oh my gosh. So they have on here, this product has no connection whatever with the American National Red Cross. This might be something to look up because they must have received a lot of comments or inquiries back then for naming your shoe Red Cross. Huh. Lawsuit. <laughs> we have another pair of shoes. Oh my gosh. Look at these. Isn't there a new Barbie movie coming out? This would be perfect for a Barbie movie. They actually have new insert or the inserts are a little coming up, but it's easy enough to go and buy new inserts to put in. Again, these are in really nice shape. I could see pairing these with a nice pair of like ankle cut jeans and a denim jacket or like a white shirt with a pop of pink. And we have some more, oh my gosh, there's like a whole, is this a wedding dress? Oh, we have some slips. A whole bunch of slips. I thought they were wedding. <laughs> it was a wedding dress. I think there's another one. We have some more shoes. I remember wearing a pair like this. <laughs> Great shape. The lady that had all these items at her home must have been a fancy dresser, that's for sure. Well, let's see what's in this little box. And then we'll open up another box from Philip and see what the prizes are in that one. Oh my gosh. Looks like we have makeup. This is perfume. What a pretty bottle. Look at this bottle. Look how nice that is. Oh no. Is it perfume? It has to be. It's made in Japan. It almost reminds me of when you water flowers, but I'm pretty sure it's a perfume bottle. That's lovely. Yes, because then here is, oh no, this is not a little perfume. Mm, I have to smell that after. That's, that's like you bought her whole bedroom. <laughs> Cute. It's another Japan hand painted. Wow, this must have been quite an estate sale. Look at that with the little boots. I mean the shoes. The dots. <laughs> I'll get it right sooner or later. Oh, that's pretty. So, fun fact, which this kind of reminds me of, is I was at, at one estate sale, and I believe in the woman, on the woman's dresser, was an older woman. She had, almost similar to this, just a little glass, we're going to call it jar, and she, I think she had cotton balls in it. 
and I bought it. It was about a dollar and it's been on my um, bathroom sink ever since. I put my, I use that to hold my bobby fins. I use that to hold my nail files. So it's just something that was just so simple and practical and vintage from an estate sale that I use on a, on a regular basis. So this again, perfect. You can put, uh, Q-tips might not fit in here, but cotton balls, little things you can use as a change holder, all sorts of stuff. Ooh, look at this beauty. How lovely is that? So I'm going to assume this is powder. Oh wow, I don't think this has ever been used. It had, uh, I don't want to pull that open, but it looks like it has not been used, like ever. Maybe this will show how detailed the lid is. It's focusing on my hand. There we go. That's lovely. Oh wait, there's more. Oh, we have some more perfumes. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's Avon Pearls and Lace Talcum Powder. <laughs> Funny, there is a powder called Shower to Shower, and that was like a talcum powder, and uh, don't use that. When you have it, don't use it. Throw it away, do whatever. I don't think they make it anymore because there was a, a big um, lawsuit. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. I have this. <laughs> this is Stanley Perfume Crystals. Uh, I don't know how many years ago, I bought a Stanley lot at my local auction and it had one of these in it and I loved it because it matched the color of my bathroom. This one is actually in better condition than the one I have, so I'll probably replace the one I have with this one and sell my other one because this one is in much better condition. Stanley Perfume Crystals. On to the next box. So we have box number two from Philip. What's in this one? Wait till you see the first thing on top. <laughs> oh wow. Renee, this is a box two from the estate sale. Oh, I must have opened it in order. Magic. Uh, when I saw the stuff, I thought you might like it. Complete shot in the dark. Uh, please up the great videos on the channel. Philip. Well, thank you, Philip. Okay, you ready for this first thing? Oh my gosh. It's a paradise fruitcake tin. World Ward Ward speaker name. Ward Baking Company's Paradise Fruitcake. The cake of the gods. Did you know that fruitcake was the cake of the gods? Because I didn't. That's what we learned today. I remember the fruitcake that Don up in Canada sent me, and it actually was not bad. It was pretty good. That was the first fruitcake I ever had. I mean, if fruitcake came in this nice tin, I certainly would have bought it back then. <laughs> but it's not an empty tin. There's stuff inside. Do we think it's a fruitcake? Because we, you know the fruitcake lasts and lasts. If there's a fruitcake in here... <laughs> I will not be trying that one. All right, I'm not going to look. It's not a fruitcake. Another tin. A tin inside a tin. Is this gonna be like those tins? <laughs> this one's nice too. It has a bird on it and it's, it's another one, Paradise Fruitcake. Is this a collection of fruitcake tins? Because I didn't have one and now I might. Well, if you have two of something, doesn't that make it a collection? If there's another, is this keep getting smaller? I don't think so. Definitely not fruit cakes, but those tins are so neat. Oh, what's in here? Oh, the little um, lighthouse salt and pepper shakers. Not what I was expecting in a fruit cake tin. <laughs> Those are cute. I think some of them may have had some pepper in it still. <laughs> oh, wow. That's darling. 
It's for cinnamon. I see these every now and then. Let's focus here at estate sales. And usually it's a whole set, but I don't know if I've ever run across one for cinnamon. So that's really cute. There's one more bag in the fruitcake tin. Oh, there's, oh gosh. There's a little troll and there's Minnie and there's this nice guy, Mayor China from Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. It's made expressly for the Ritz Carlton hotels. Put your cream in there for your tea and you can just be fancy as you're drinking it. That's really cute. Wow, wasn't expecting that in fruitcake tins. <laughs> All right, we have, oh gosh. Oh no. Looks like we have a we we have looks like we have a casualty. It was oh shoot, what a shame. I don't wanna empty it out in case the pieces break, but it was the rice container it looks like. So I might be able to save it. It seems like it broke into three pieces, so I'll have to try my best to try and, and glue it. We'll see if hopefully we can save that guy. Oh, nice. These, hold on. Oh, I didn't even realize. They say tea. Look how cool. Man, this must have been a great estate sale. Love these. These are great if you had enough. One can hope one day I'll have the the old uh, Hoosier cabinet. Hoosier, Hoosier, Hoosier cabinet. And these will look perfect on the cabinet. But until then, they will look great on my counter. And of course, naturally, put tea bags in there. I have plenty of those to fill these up. Those are wonderful. And I believe there's one more thing in here. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, the coffee. I can still put tea bags in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this one doesn't have a label. That's interesting. You can put whatever you want in there. Wow, those are really, really nice. Well, thank you so much, Philip. All I can say is this must have been a really good estate sale to have found all these things there. And thank you so much for sending them to me. And I'm looking forward to opening up the other two boxes that you sent, which I might film those now. Maybe I'll have lunch first. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Philip, again, and for all these items, for the clothing, the shoes, all those perfumes. These canisters are really, really neat too. And I look forward to seeing what's in the other boxes. So thank you for the treasures. You never know what you're going to find in an estate sale. Some sales I go to are just eh, ho-hum. Other sales, you know, you don't have enough arms and you don't have enough eyes to look at and hold everything that you come across and that you want to buy. And also, you don't have enough money sometimes. <laughs> you don't have enough eyes, you don't have enough arms, you don't have enough bags, and you don't have enough money. <laughs> but anyway, thanks so much again, Philip. Stay tuned uh, for the next mail video with your other packages. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else you have so kindly sent. So thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day. And hey, if you are at an estate sale, I hope you find your treasure. Mm -hmm.